So Google has this awesome uh, chart API where you can uh, go look through this gallery and you can uh, go to their documentation and there's all these great charts uh, and data displays that you can make. They just have a whole huge list of them over here that are all uh, JavaScript based. And uh, so I worked on a project um, at work where I needed to do some reporting with charts like this and uh, we use PrimeFaces JSF and uh, PrimeFaces has an extension uh, to work with Google Charts um, and it wasn't as flexible as I needed so uh, on my free time because I thought it'd be a cool project I uh, built my own JSF plugin that is a, a Google Charts wrapper and uh, it was a little more flexible for, with me developing it and then, uh, it was helpful at work and I think it would be pretty helpful for a lot of people uh, trying to do more advanced reporting than what you could do with the uh, PrimeFaces plugin and there may be others that's just the only one I've come across. Um, so right now it's in a, a pretty basic form. I got the structure done. I'll go over the structure and stuff more later or in this video. I'll talk about it in more detail. But uh, if you want to go to this page, I'll put a link in the description. It's my uh, website, and I have a, a write-up on this uh, module, and you can download the jar here. Um, or because your browser is going to warn you and stuff because it's a jar, you could go to Bitbucket and get the code. It's open source, which I'll talk about in a minute because I'd, I'd like any uh, feature requests or contributions. Um, it's pretty easy to follow how this works and so if anybody wants to add charts to it. Right now I have support for the combo chart and the pie chart. Um, the combo chart I think is really flexible because you can do bars or lines um, and then I added some features like this. You could add this index line, uh, stuff like that automatically. Basically you build a model in Java. Uh, I made some chart model objects for these which I'll go over in more detail in a second and then uh, you uh, include it in the page with a normal JSF tag like this and then uh, it renders that Google chart for you. Um, the chart is uh, dynamically loaded from Google as part of their uh, user requirements, their license agreement. You have to load their scripts from Google and um, you're only supposed to load uh, the header file, the loader file for the uh, API once. So um, which you can't do if you're dynamically rendering these with JSF, obviously. So I, I wrote some scripts that do, um, uh, they they load those dynamically and check if it's already been loaded, things like that. So it's a really clean JSF, pure JSF implementation. There's nothing you have to do other than have the jar and then do the JSF tags. Um, so the code is available on my Bitbucket. Um, you can download, there's a link to the project page, but you can download the source here. Uh, do a fork if you want and uh, make your own jar or you can add to this. So I'll go over the code quickly in case you want to contribute or if it'll be useful for you, you can modify it and do whatever you want for these charts. Um, essentially, I have the uh, chart objects that you're going to build. Um, like I said, I've built these two models. Uh, basically, I, I went through that charts API um, on Google and I went through there options and down in this section and I found the ones that I think would be the most commonly used and the most like kind of superficial stuff that everybody who's going to make a chart does. A lot of these I haven't implemented obviously the animation stuff. There's so many settings. This is a really flexible API. Um, if I ever get the time I'll go through and do as much of it as I can but for now I have like the core features that you'd want and some of the styling features like color and things like that. Um, and I've, I just added those to a model. So I have a chart model that uh, you can set the title, title color, title styling, things like that. You can add series where you add data points to a series and add the series to the chart, things like that. It's an object-oriented model of the chart. And then uh, you're going to pass that through a JSF tag um, through to a tag handler that I wrote that uh, is going to detect the chart type, uh, height and width settings if you pass them. If not, it just defaults. Um, and then it calls a builder method. And this method basically takes the chart model, renders the necessary in-page code uh, to run the uh, the chart API and, and call the API and load the chart and build it, things like that. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I included a, uh, a script that asynchronously uh, loads the uh, script and does some verification, make sure it's not being loaded twice, things like that. And that's about it. Um, if you wanted to contribute a chart, it would be as easy as building a different model. So you would build the, uh, these are all javadoc commented. So I have a link to the javadoc too on my website so you can see in depth what all these methods are doing and what is actually here. But 
you'd build the model and then configure the tag handler to recognize that model and call it the appropriate builder method and then you would uh, write up a builder method that would render and you could look at what I've already done here and just kind of a lot of this is duplicated but it's different enough that it is worth just writing again in another place <laughs> and uh, rendering the, uh, the the options and the features in the correct uh, format for Google to run it so pretty basic and been done before but like I said I, I made it you know more flexible and customizable and uh, if anybody wants to contribute they can I'm gonna keep developing it on my free time because I enjoy it I'm just gonna keep adding charts uh, like I said right now I just have the combo chart and the uh, pie chart supported combo chart like I said you can do <laughs> scrolling everywhere you can do bars or lines or both uh, hence the name combo and then the uh, pie chart so Hopefully you guys find this useful, and if anybody wants to contribute, just uh, go to the uh, the Bitbucket. I'll put a link to this page as my the main kind of landing page for it on my website. And uh, thanks for watching.